Hey, Scott, Robert here. Uh, first off, I just want to thank you so much for all the free information. Um, it's been incredibly invaluable and not to mention motivating, inspiring. Uh, God knows I need it. I work for the post office carrying mail. I walk about 15 miles a day. And yes, a lot of it is Amazon. So uh, on the other end, I get to see all the damage and deal with that. Um, and I just wanted also to let everyone know that, I mean, some of us work six, seven days, weeks, and that if you're working that seventh day, I mean, that, that's all Amazon. That's one day just, just for Amazon because it's, it's getting that big. Uh, anyway, um, first of all, my question that I wanted to um, ask you, uh, well, actually, i got two questions. The first one is, uh, being that I'm a newbie, I've been listening to you for about a month. I finally buckled down yesterday and got Jungle Scout, and I was on it all day and all night. God knows I, my old lady let me hear about it. <laughs> so on that note... Um, and my question is, because um, uh, I, I could, I, after using a jungle scout, I, I quickly see the depth and the, the niches there, and I was able to narrow down one niche, one product. Okay, the product I decided to go after was number one in its niche, and all the other ones um, that are they're they're like it. They're pretty much almost the same thing. It just has one little different physical attribute. Okay, but pretty much they're all the same thing. Probably come from the same manufacturer. Anyway. Um, I, my question is, why, why do you think uh, this one is doing so well? Do you think it's because he just got, went out and got more reviews for it and he's just pumped it more? You know, if you can clarify your opinion on that, I appreciate it. And if you think it's a dumb idea to go after that, please let me know. Um, and the second question is, uh, I sent out about 20 inquiries to suppliers using your template. Um, and I'm just waiting for responses. But after I did all that, I came across the link for the purchasing agents. Now, um, can you clarify when you'd want to use a purchasing agent? Did you, do you use one? Did you use them when you started out? Uh, we haven't really uh, covered that, I don't think. I mean, I've heard a little bit about it, but uh, not a whole lot. So um, anyway, if you can point me into that, uh, that direction or if you even can point me to the podcast that talks about it, I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much and uh, to everyone out there. Take action. Hey, Robert, thank you so much for the question and thanks so much for delivering that mail. I know uh, that can probably be a tough job. A uh, little quick side note, my wife uh, used to work at the power company for years in the office and then they were downsizing and uh, getting rid of some jobs and she went to go meter read uh, for about uh, seven, eight months in some pretty bad areas. And uh, she totally has a respect for people that have to uh, go house to house, whether it's, uh, you know, meter reading or delivering mail and all that stuff. So uh, thank you for doing that. And uh, also thanks for sharing that you can see the power of Amazon because you're delivering a lot of their packages, right? So it's kind of interesting to be able to be on that end too and saying, what the heck is going on here? Uh, but anyway, to answer your questions, uh, first off, you know, yes, getting something like Jungle Scout is going to allow you to see very quick if it has demand and depth into a market. Now, there's a, a couple things that you didn't really point out, but I'm going to kind of speculate here. First off, you said that you soon seen that there was demand and depth in this market, but you seen that there was like one person really, really crushing it at the very top, let's say like, you know, listing number one or whatever, which is great. But you know, if you haven't heard me talk about this in the past, I'm going to say it again, which I'll probably say it a lot more in the future as well, because it's really, really important. It's not so much looking at the number one seller. It's more about looking at all of the other ones on the first page uh, for that keyword to see how they're doing. So let's just forget about the first one for a second. I would say to you, Tell me, how is the fifth one doing? How is the seventh one doing? How is the eighth one doing? Down inside of that list, how are all of those performing? And forget about the number one for a second, all right? Because yes, eventually you'd like to get there, but that's not what we're really thinking about right now. We're thinking about how soon is it going to uh, be before we can get on first page and what kind of volume can I expect once I get to first page being maybe fifth, sixth, seventh, or eighth, or even tenth. That's where the depth and the demand comes in for that product. So Jungle Scout, great tool for that. If you guys are brand new, you have not seen or heard me talk about Jungle Scout, it's a tool that allows you to really dig deep inside of different markets and different products. And I actually had Greg Mercer on uh, episode 56, that is the amazingseller.com forward slash 56. And there's also a video on there of him actually using the tool 
showing him uh, diving into different uh, different brands and finding products using the tool. Um, also, if you wanted to save a little bit of money on that license for that extension, you can uh, you can go through that link there. It's my affiliate link. I'll earn a small commission, which usually buys me a nice cup of coffee. And then from there, you guys know I love coffee. And then from there, you can start using the tool. Really, really awesome tool. I use it every single chance I get. All right. So that is the demand and all that stuff, right? So really, really important stuff, especially when you're in the beginning stages of finding a product or a market. Now, to address the second part of this question is, you know, should you go out and get a sourcing agent and all that stuff? Well, you technically are if you're going through, you know, that process and using that email template that I gave you. And I actually just did an episode, the one before this, which is episode number 141, where I talk about how to find an agent using Alibaba, AliExpress and those types of methods. So if you haven't listened to that one, you should probably check that out or anyone listening that has those questions. But yeah, really, that's really what you're doing. Um, You know, people that think that they're going to Alibaba or AliExpress and they're just going through the supplier, they're really going through an agent for the most part. Uh, So, you know, you definitely do want to go through that channel because those agents can actually help you find other products or even other agents once you get a great relationship built with them. So, Hope that this has answered your question. Thank you so much again for asking it and also for delivering that mail. Hopefully, if you if you're if this is what you're after to you know eliminate that job, well, hopefully in the future you could be having other people deliver your packages to your customers, right? And, and that that would be amazing. All right. So thanks again and good luck to you. Keep me posted. If you guys want to submit a question, head over to the amazingseller.com forward slash ask and you can do that. I want to also, again, remind you guys, if you're brand new and this is your first time to the show, I want to welcome you. I love hanging out with you guys. This is just awesome to be able to virtually connect like this, and that's why I love the Ask Scott sessions, but if you are brand new and you're just getting your feet wet and you don't understand the entire process, the entire business model, I would recommend attending one of my live free workshops. This is where I break it down for you in five phases. How to pick a market and a product, how to source it, how to do a pre-launch, how to do a launch, how to promote the product, and everything in between. We go over that on a workshop and uh, we we go through every single thing. We also do live Q&A. So if you want to attend one of them, I would love to invite you to the next one and you can register for the next one by heading over to theamazingseller.com forward slash workshop and you can register there for an upcoming workshop. Well, hey there. Thank you so much for listening to that episode of Ask Scott. Now, that was just a highlight from one of our full episodes where I generally answer three to four questions on a podcast. If you want to go back and listen to all of the past archives of not just the Ask Scott session, but all of the full episodes where I do interviews with top Amazon sellers, people starting from scratch and building a business, if you want to listen to any of those episodes, head over to theamazingseller.com and you can find all of that over there. You can also find details there on how you can ask your own question and get it aired on an upcoming Ask Scott session and possibly see it here on YouTube or just on the podcast. All right, so definitely head over to theamazingseller.com. There's tons of resources over there for you to be able to build your e-commerce and Amazon business, so definitely go check that out. Now, I just wanted to remind you one thing before I let you go. There's a lot of information out there and some of it is really, really good. What I want you to remember is you have to not just consume the information, you have to actually apply that information. So take this information that you learned here today and apply it to your business and this way here you can get results. As my shirt says, I wear it almost daily. Take action. We'll see you guys.